barge out open. Oh, look at that. Oh, she's being smart here, actually. I'm just going to go for the melee here and then the overhead. <laughs> hey, whose feet are they? Hey, what is going on guys? It is AJ here and I hope that you're having a great day so far. For any of you avid Leatherface players, I'm sure you've dabbled in some of his many unique perks. While some of his uniques are, well, not great, his better uniques such as Master Key can provide you with a benefit that you wouldn't otherwise have. For those of you who don't know, when playing a victim and a family member barges down the door, there is no audible cue, meaning you must rely on the yellow stain and the visual cue of the door being bashed in. This introduces an aspect to the game where you can barge into a room and remain completely silent. To a certain extent, obviously you'll still hear Leatherface's chainsaw. And as you can imagine, Leatherface barging straight into a room and remaining completely silent is quite startling. You most likely won't get master key value every single game, but when you do, it is very satisfying. And it tends to pay off quite well. Not only does it speed up the process of destroying doors, but it can also bag you a kill. With this in mind, we'll move on to my build. For my build, I am using Reduced Chainsaw Overheat, Stalling resistance and instant activation. For my perks, I am using master key so I can instantly burst through doors. Tenderizer so when I barge open a door, if a victim gets caught with the door, they'll take more damage. And big swings for the 15% increase in damage. For my grandpa perks, I am using brute strength, but you can use swinging for the fences. I wouldn't recommend using swinging for the fences though, because you won't personally receive the reduction in stamina consumption on melee attacks. Only your teammates will. Whereas using brute strength, everyone's happy because every everyone's receiving a benefit, including yourself. For my attributes, I am maxing out savagery and putting the rest into blood harvesting. And that's just because Leatherface doesn't need any stamina as he uses a chainsaw heat. Last but not least, here is my skill tree. Please feel free to pause the video if you wish to copy my build. Anyway, that is all from me. I hope that you guys enjoy the Master Key gameplay. Okay, we are playing as Leatherface. Just had a check. I was recording the old gameplay there. We're playing Leatherface and we are in on Nancy's house. A house that I very much like. To play. I've been getting kind of used to the basement layout playing this map. It's it's very large, but it is quite rewarding when you manage to land some Let's hits on her. Oh, there's the uh, the master key that people probably didn't expect. Master key is such a good perk. It basically prevents you from... Oh, she's being smart here, actually. I'm just going to go for the melee here, and then the overhead. Oh, the combo! <laughs> Daddy definitely did not expect that master key to just bosh that door open. It is a really good perk to have. And Neverface doesn't really need the damage at all. <laughs> I did not expect that quick overhead. That's a good combo to do. If you uh, if you do a melee attack on someone that you're kind of afraid you'll miss on. And then just power up that, prime up that overhead oh. straight after. Look at that. Another master key value. I love it. He's got nowhere he can run. Oh, I didn't realize there's a cool gap there. That's new. That's new. Okay, that's my fault. I didn't realize there was a cool gap there. I sort of swung a bit earlier. That's all right. Cool. I've learned from that. All right, we see Julie over there. She's in a bad position there because the only thing to the left of that is a cool gap. And I know that from experience. So what I'll do is I'll rev the chainsaw a bit. I could have swung there, but I was just a bit hesitant to. Maybe I should have swung there. Maybe that was a bad pull. Then I should have swung, yeah. Mm. Okay. That's too far, too far of a leap. <laughs> That's a good master key value this game. That's proper cool, though. All right, it looks like she just bounced out there. This wasn't closed when I went in there last time. I'm not too for a bit of a, a bit of a tickle. Ooh, I know where that is. I can head around there quite quickly. I'd make a shortcut just here with the barricade. We're doing all right. Ah, okay. Oh, I see that. Should I chase that person? Maybe I should. I'll give it a try. Why not? I'm never going to learn if you never try, right? I wonder where these people have gone. I have a feeling Judy's probably unlocked this door. Nah. I should have swung earlier. I did not realize that there was a crawl gap the other side of that, unfortunately. But anyway... I think that's enough time in the basement. We'll go upstairs for the garden exit. Why not? Is that locked? Please let me barge that. Oh, it's not. It's so sad. We'll close this door too and lock it. One less area they can run down to if they 
getting a bit of a picky. Right. Okay, now we're up and about. We can see everything. Oh, someone tried kicking off that generator already. That's quite interesting to know. Oh, they did. They succeeded at it. Okay. It's tingling. You gotta be around here someplace. Okay, she's up here, but where? Did I just see her there? No. I thought I saw her there. God damn. Inside the house. It was inside the house. On the, on the top. Floor. I'll go back down and turn the generator on. I think that's a good call. Right, you can see all the way. Oh, I just saw someone there. Did I just see someone near the generator? Crouch near it. Definitely did. Oh, no, that's Nancy. <laughs> I was like, who the hell is that? Where is the fuse? Wow, that they jumped out that side window, really? That's crazy. Maybe I can make it in and just incapacitate her again as she goes down the well. She's incapacitated from that. See, she doesn't want to take the well. And that's okay. Because she, she knows she'll get incapacitated. She had to run there. Yep. <laughs> Arguably, she gave that to a worse person because Nancy can hold a lot more blood than I can. So that wasn't too intelligent. <laughs> but I don't know. She, before she, she could have survived, I guess. That's fine. Let's continue to go down. Go down, spin around. Where are you, huh? You down here? I'm going to take a quick scan and run of the basement real quick. Close that exit and go up another one, maybe. Doesn't seem to be anyone around here, man. Like a desolate waste town. Waste town, wasteland. Oh, the cook padlock is still on. That's pretty cool. That padlock's still on as well. Lovely. We're sitting pretty here, I think. The valve's in good shape. The fuse is in good shape. Everyone's happy here. Let's go feed Grampy. What can we make it? Oh, he's already been fed. Okay, these doors are opened already. Let's give it a quick check. Mm, we're gonna be around here someplace. <laughs> these cook's padlocks are gonna be so clutch for us. Shut that again real quick. Oh, Connie. That's a big mistake from you, pal. I closed the door, but I didn't manage to get a second hit on her. Nice. Oh, we can kill her here. She's probably going to go inside, so I'm going to try and... Oh, never mind. <laughs> Jesus. I thought she would have got inside of the shack, but I think Nancy already had that guy. Poor girl, man. Poor, poor girl. Right, let's see it, Danny. Let's see the performance. Master Key worked really well in the basement. I actually... Kind of surprised because you don't always get value from every game, but it is really useful. As you saw that Arna kill, I don't think Danny nor Arna expected me to bash into that room <laughs> in first try like that. So it is very, very good at catching people off guard. Both of these padlocks are completely blasted off these doors. I have a strange feeling he's going to go upstairs. Or he'll try and go for a valve play because it's Danny. Valve play and Danny is super, super good. Close that real quick. Rich is a bitch. I feel that levels him up to max, and then we can finally find the man. We're the man for the job. Danny's really playing it safe. It's smart, though, it is. <laughs> He'll have to go and uh, stab old Grampy. He wants an opportunity of winning. I think the cook's found another bit of blood there. Wow, I, I just realized you can exert so much pressure. Like, wow, that trap right there is perfect for Nancy, by the way. Yeah, you can exert so much pressure, like, on this map. Oh, I see him. Nice. Okay. That's not. That's locked, my man. <laughs> I think he sort of gave up. I think he just gave up at that point. <laughs> that's a really good master key value. I'm happy with that. That's awesome. Always always comes in clutch when you least expect it. All right, let's go. We're playing as Leatherface on the family house. I'll be using master key. Is there much more that needs to be said? Oh, man, I, I miss, you know, destroying these doors because I, I just love causing as much destruction as possible. But I can't. I know I can't because if I do, I won't get tenderizer, nor would I get master key. Hey, whose feet are they? Those are pretty smart shoes. They look like Leland's. Well, they, they could be Danny's. Maybe they've uh, locked this. Oh, look at that. Instant barge. The thing is, it doesn't make a sound whatsoever. So, like, these guys wouldn't even know that I was about to come in here. Like this. <laughs> 
Oh, that was open. Nice, okay. Oh, I thought I'd be able to just, like, stop revving and then bosh him right at the end, but I don't think that was possible. Okay, let's go back this direction. Maybe we can catch someone off guard. I like Anna, maybe. Ooh. Maybe should go use, use the cool space, panicking? No. Ooh, I thought she'd panic and use the cool space. Got some big damage off him so far. Oh, there's no way they're going upstairs already. That's not even open. That's so sad on behalf of... That's so sad for her, man. That's so sad for her. Don't feel so bad. No. She went to run down away from whoever was going uh, coming from the upstairs. I feel so bad for her. She's had an absolute stinker there. That early Master Key budge really paid off for us there. Oh, I thought I could swing a little bit earlier and get away with that, but apparently not. I just got scared. My chainsaw. Just, I just saw my chainsaw. I was like, oh, that's, that's got to be a person. <laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> right, I said upstairs. It's super easy for the victims to escape here. They're bashing open that door. I did not want to stand in the way of that. Yeah, we need to destroy this crawl gap, really, because they're able to get to that latch door super, super quickly if we don't. Destroyed. That was... Oh, I got a brilliant idea watch this no one's gonna she won't expect this i don't think i hope not oh do, do you reckon she will no she won't she won't surely oh she thinks she's home free oh she's got to take the well now she has to take the well yeah <laughs> that was the biggest brain play i think oh she thought she was like just got off scot free but she didn't all right go back inside who is that that's Nancy. I would feed Grandpa, but there's literally zero point. We don't have, like, exterior lands or anything like that. Was that first perk? Experience Stalkers is not going to help me in the long run. Because I'm revving my chainsaw like crazy. Ah, oh, they destroyed all the doors upstairs, so I can't actually do anything here. Mmm, really well played from him. All these doors have been destroyed, though, so that's going to be bad for him. I was really hoping I could thrust through there after him. Could you imagine? Ooh, someone's got to be upstairs doing the fuse. Let's go stop that. You know what? Let's not stop it. Let's go for Leland again. He's, he, yeah, he's trapped with the... Uh, <laughs> he's trapped with the bad boy. He shouldn't have gone through there. He should have continued to run down to the basement. That would have been a smart play. Hopefully, we've exerted enough pressure right at the beginning to be able to make a few blunders later on, you know? That's what I'm hoping anyway. Let's unlatch this real quick. I have a feeling someone's in that fuse room and I need to go there immediately to stop them. Wait. Oh, she just came, came up here straight away. Legend. She, she got there before I even... She had the same thought process as me. Thankfully, there was no... Oh, I wonder what she was doing there. That locked. Nice. Oh, that's so sad for her, man. <laughs> I'm gonna execute her. I'm gonna execute Hello, her at the gallows, out, man. man. Oh, she disconnected. <laughs> Yo, why did you disconnect? Hey. Hey. Hey, lay off of that. Wait, can he stab me and me drop her? It doesn't matter because she's disconnected. I was curious. I was curious. <laughs> he does that and it does that. He goes and does like a play like that and then whiffs it like that. I don't know. <laughs> I was curious. I wanted to see him stab me because she disconnected anyway. So I wanted to see whether or not that would actually count. Like as me, well, actually count towards me dropping her. We'll execute her anyway. Why not? Get her out of the game. So she's not just lingering around. She should have stayed. That could have been really interesting. It's a shame, really. It's a shame that that sort of stuff happens. <laughs> she just didn't. Maybe, maybe if she had a state, they could have done something. Anyway, let's continue to have a look for this guy. I have no idea where he could be, but I do not want to risk that front window being jumped out of. Let's feed Grampy Boy and then continue to level the man up. Wow, he's really shaking the rest of that bottle in there, isn't he? <laughs> he just slapped his head. It's so stupid. They made that animation so much more aggressive. 
and I, I respect it. I sort of don't want to rev here, just in case I can hear them. Checking outside, I can't see anyone. That's a very good truck to park on the side guard on there. It means I need to expend the bone shard to get inside, which is good news. Nice, we're starting to level up Grandpa now. What I'll do is I'll also go outside and collect the blood buckets from outside. So we can speed this process up a bit. Because I have the uh, mobility to be able to do so. The other two would be better off staying inside to cooperate and work together. Nice. Close that real quick. Shut the bad boy up. <laughs> Look at them both. <laughs> Let's continue to make our way around and collect the blood. Hopefully we get four buckets. That way we can almost get a max. Chop Subi that down. Grab this bucket just here. And this is also quite good because if you guys don't actually know where these buckets are, then I can showcase them to you. It's a win-win. I'm sure you will do. You're all more experienced than I am. Right, let's collect this bad boy. Wow. Oh, leather faces. Thick. And the last one is around here. Inside of the workshop, I think it's called. Or the barn area. I'm not sure what that is up to, but he's mischievous. I'll give him that. Lovely. Oh, wait, he's dead. He's not mischievous, he's, he's, he's just dead. But we were securing we were securing it to make sure that we could get Grandpa level 5. But that was good. It was a good game. Master Key really worked out at the beginning there. We managed to get a few hits on Danny and Leland. Snowballed that mini game. Even though we didn't get even though we didn't get a kill, we managed to do a lot of damage. It can be really useful. It's situational, but it can be very useful. Three kills, look at that. GG's man. GG.